everyone, welcome to another theatre vlog, though it might not be a theatre vlog. I'm currently in the returns queue for Hamilton. It's a Saturday evening. What's the date? Is it the 9th? The 9th? It's the 9th. Um, and I'm here with some lovely people in the queue, so that's really nice. I'm scared it might be a lot of like, not nice people, but they're really nice. Do you guys want to be, do you want to say hi? Hi to my vlog. Oh, I, as well. it's lovely. I don't even know your name. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourselves. I'm Julia. Julia. I'm Anna. 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 What's your name? Amy. Amy. Mika. Mika, lovely name. Yeah, everyone's really nice. Um, so yeah, we've been waiting since five o'clock. It's now just after six. They said at the box office that some tickets might come out after six. So we're just hoping and we'll see what happens. Where the returns queue is, um, from the front of the theatre, the box office, if you look to the left, come down there's this little archway which I'll film in a second so there's the stage there's the archway the stage door the stage door situation is currently a mess because the whole area is a building site um, but yeah there's the stage door alley bit and then a pen that we've been in I say it not like a writing pen like a pen like a barricade and we have been waiting here so it's been an hour don't know how long I'm gonna leave it because I do have another show to go to tonight if not like I'm gonna go to the theatres tonight anyway. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a little vlog about the return situation and uh, talk you through it. Update on the situation. A lady just came out from the box office. Obviously her friend can't come or whatever. So she had a ticket, third row of the stalls, uh, 89.50, 60 is my limit. So I didn't immediately say yes. And then a guy who was back of the queue hopped up and took it. So we reckon he might have just offered more money um, because she was obviously saying just selling it at face value, which is good. Like. I think it would be disgusting if someone came out and said oh it's going to be like 120 but I only paid 80 or something like that's wrong um, so that's annoying but life goes on I'm not going to pay 90 pounds when I've already got an 85 pound ticket to go to soon so 60s the limit so the box office a guy from the box office just came out they had one ticket uh, the girl in front of us ditched her mum She's going to see the show. I don't blame her. <laughs> 79. Hopefully she really enjoys it. Um, 79.50 on the first row of the dress circle. It's a seat I saw online yesterday. So maybe there are some seats that they're just siphoning off. Fingers crossed. Do you want to be in it? Hello. You're in a, in a theatre vlog. Congrats. This is a lovely security guard keeping us company. Um, amusing us, which is great. Yeah, we are so cold. I wonder what the actual temperature is right now. Because it's... Is it actually? It's minus one. I'm not wearing a coat. I've not got gloves on. I'm an idiot. I am stupid. Um, but now we're here. We may as well wait. So yeah, it's currently... What time is it? It's currently 21 past six. So we're going to see uh, what happens. He said they're going to come out like if people are obviously bringing tickets back. So we'll see what happens. I've got one at 79.50 again. Yeah. It's in Rokea Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. And who is next? All four of you yeah, want to come in with thank me. Thank you. It's lovely to meet you. Have a good night. <laughs> Rokea. Just, go, just Google Hamilton Returns ticket. You'll find me on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can't I move, my feet are like frozen. Oh, How long have you guys been out there? Oh, it's not long, but it's so cold. I'm cold and I've already just come out. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
I mean, it's 10 past seven now, so I've had time to, well, so basically the guy came to the returns queue obviously earlier on and had that one ticket at 79.50 for that girl, which she, which she took and I don't blame her. Um, she ditched her mum, bless, but they're on holiday, so you know, they need to see it, she needs to see it. So I waited and I was like, I'm going to wait another 10 minutes, I'm going to wait until 7 o'clock and then see how it is. Because I had a ticket for another show tonight and I'm ditching it because it was just a £15 ticket and I'm like, I want to see Hamilton. So uh, yeah, he came out, it must have been like just before 7 o'clock and said, I've got, um, I've got four tickets all together. So obviously I was like, yeah, gimme. And then the, there was a group behind me, I think of five three of them took the three so they're going to be next to me here so I paid 80 pounds for my ticket but these seats would normally be 127 pounds and 50 pence and that's just because it's previews when it goes into uh, not previews when it's open these seats are going to be like 200 pounds and oh my god the view is incredible like it's an amazing seat and I'm on there so there's the center aisle next to me there you go, you can kind of see it. And then I've got loads I've got loads of leg room in front of me as well. So like it's all the leg room that I could want. Um, and yeah, I'm just waiting to defrost. I might have my sandwich quickly because I'm not eating since breakfast. <laughs> oh my god, what a day, what a day. I am about to do the standard I'm in the room tweets. So very excited to do that. Uh, yeah, warm up. And oh my God, I'm so excited for this show. The merchandise queue has been ridiculous, by the way. Um, it's so long. So I think I'm just gonna try and get some merchandise afterwards, uh, cause I'm happy to like wait for after the show to try and get some. Uh, fingers crossed I'll be able to. I'm pretty sure they'll keep the doors open. So yeah, that's, <gasps> I'm at Hamilton on the first Saturday night. I just spent too much money. <laughs> It's the interval and oh my god. It's incredible. It's incredible and the view I have is unbelievable and I'm looking I'm standing like sort of in the in the foyer, like just before the doors. And even the radiators are pink and gold. <laughs> I'm shook. The refurb is beautiful. Like the theatre looks amazing. It's been a long time since I've been at the Victoria Palace. Um, the last time I was here would have been for Billy Elliot way back when so it's been a while since I've been in here but it looks so grand and beautiful and the theming is just gorgeous and oh, um, there's a massive line for the merchandise so I'm just gonna queue up and get it after the show because I just wanted to like have a nosy around during the interval oh my god I can't believe I'm here it's mental <laughs> I'm back in my seat and oh my god once again I just can't believe I'm here also before I forget to say when I was in the returns queue um, someone came to ask like if this was the returns queue and if anyone had been let in and then they were like Are you, do you make YouTube videos
Hamilton. Well, I'm not. I'm still in the theatre. I'm in the merchandise queue now. Holy crap. That was incredible. I'm gonna try and pick up some merch. Hopefully, it won't be here too long. It's currently, for anyone interested in how long the merchandise queue has been, it's currently half past 10. It's 22.29. So, I've been in the queue for maybe like five minutes already. So, let's see how long it takes because I've only really got like one merch stand. I know there's one another place in the theatre but I think it must be in one of the top levels so um, I'm in the foyer one downstairs so let's see how long it takes post show there's a massive queue before the show so that's why I left it I was like I'd rather just get it afterwards so yeah Twenty-two forty-seven. Can't remember what time I said before. Maybe it was half past. So that wasn't too long, actually. I picked up merchandise. Oh, my poor bank account. Uh, so I'll show you that when I get home. I think I'm going to try and do the post-show chat as soon as I get home to try and get this video up tomorrow. It might not happen, but if it does, I'll be very happy. I just can't believe that I just saw Hamilton. I am shook. What, just, what happened today? I just went crazy. I'm gonna talk to you all about it when I get home, how I got my ticket, what the process was, because there were some bits that I just didn't film because I was just in such a fr frantic frenzy. I don't even know what to say. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you everything when I get home. And um, yeah, bit of a day, bit of a day. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the chatty section of the vlog which is straight after the show. I never do this anymore. I normally give myself a few days to like let the thoughts sink in and then like make myself look a bit more presentable and then film but I just saw Hamilton so I need, I need, need, need to tell you my immediate thoughts. First of all, what we're gonna do is go through the merchandise, the merchandise, <laughs> the merchandise that I bought. So straight off the bat, this is the recycled tote bag, which I believe was eight pounds. Um, it's very nice. I love a good tote bag. And as you can see, it's got the Hamilton logo here. And as we just saw, um, which I didn't actually pay attention to, but the stars on the back. And if I do a little close up, uh, you can see they've got the people on. So Hamilton, I think there's one with the Skylar sisters. Yeah, they've got one at the bottom. Um, very cool. And then as well on the, uh, on the inside bit there it's it says Hamilton an American musical but it's now in London I love tote bags so practical and it's nice as well anyway just to have like to organize I've got loads of stagey stuff in various tote bags I've got something in my eye so if I now look a bit blinky that's why let's go from the smallest up I bought one of the shop glasses so here's the packaging it's upside down. I'm not doing really well today, am I? Um, here's the packaging for the shot glass. Obviously, I am not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. You know, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. <laughs> Obviously, you've got to buy a shot glass at Hamilton, and it was only five pounds, I believe. So let's get it out of the box. I used to go through a little bit of a phase of collecting shot glasses. Not so much nowadays, but. I had to, obviously. Um, you can't really see it very well on camera, but it does say, I am not throwing away my shot. Stop focusing on me. <laughs> and then obviously it's got the Hamilton logo on the other side. If you watched my like stagey haul from New York, you know I love a magnet. So I got one of those, obviously. Uh, nice and simple. Initially, as soon as I got into the theatre, I picked up the smaller program so i've not actually looked through it properly so this will be the first time looking through it so it's this 
size so it's like a smaller one um i've also got the souvenir brochure which i'll show you in a moment um so this is four pounds which is nice and cheap um it says on the back who lives who dies who tells your story so i'll do some cutaways because you don't want to just re see my face reading it you want to see the program initially we've got a little welcome from uh cameron mcintosh who obviously uh owns the theatre. It's talking about the, uh, the sort of renovation. Um, and then we've got some love, oh my gosh, these photos are amazing. Oh. Photos of like costumes and props and oh my gosh. A bit of history about the show and the timeline of Hamilton as well, which is really good actually. I bet this would be great for if you're going into Hamilton not really knowing what's happening to have a quick read before the, before the show. And then again, more talk on the renovation which is really fun i miss the red seats from the uh victoria palace i don't know there's something about the green that i did not love we've got some lovely rehearsal photos and then the full like principal cast and obviously the ensemble standbys and oh my gosh looking at the understudy list i'm already dying to try and see miriam teakley as angelica when that happens, I'm probably gonna, not gonna be able to make it and I'm gonna be so, so sad. Oh, I'm already heartbroken about that. And then the ensemble. I'm going quite quickly through this because I want to show you through the, um, the souvenir brochure as well. Then obviously we've got a bit about the creative team, more rehearsal photos, and then like credits for everyone, which is really nice. And then adverts. It's nice that pretty much all the adverts are at the back. I like that. Okay, so that was the smaller four pound program. And then we have the beastie brochure, which I've just realized says it's the original Broadway cast which is exciting, but it also means I'm gonna to have to pay, I think 10 pounds again when they have the London casts one. Possibly should have thought of that, but oh well. Cool photo of, I believe, Leslie Odom Jr. as Amber. Pretty sure it's Leslie. Yeah, it's gotta be Leslie. Let's have a little flick through, shall we? Oh my goodness, this, this is stunning. It's such a like beautiful quality program as well, which is really nice. It feels so weighty and it's printed so nicely. Oh my God, the photos in this. I don't think I've ever seen these photos before. They're incredible. I presume once, obviously, once the show's opened, we'll get a London version of the program. Well, the souvenir brochure, which would be nice. I have so many thoughts about this show. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I love that, that photo of the, the set from above, that bird's eye view, that is incredible. That's a really lovely program. It's just a shame I'm gonna have to buy another one. <laughs> I don't normally buy clothing from shows, but I saw this t-shirt and I fell in love and I absolutely wanted it, so I bought it. It was quite expensive, it was 25 pounds, but as I say, I just loved it. Um, so I bought, weird angle to show t-shirt i bought the skylar sisters t-shirt i love that it's in gray because like most of the time shirts are in like white and it's just gonna get dirty so easily whereas gray is just so much nicer the fabric feels really nice as well um so i just think it's gonna be like a really nice quality shirt to wear oh i'm just so excited i'm probably gonna wear this at work like a little fangirl and then people will come up and be like oh can i get tickets for hamilton i'll be like go to the theater like you're not gonna get tickets for hamilton here and yes that was everything i bought which was still too much let's be real so let's talk about the show okay so as you saw i was in the returns queue and i got there at five o'clock because i'd been at the other palace so the other palace is in cardinal place just around the corner i'd originally booked to see la soiree tonight but obviously that didn't happen i just i went crazy everyone that i know has pretty much seen hamilton this week and it was driving me mad and i was just like i need to see it and i also thought it'd be quite fun for me to show you in a vlog the returns queue and what was going on especially for like a saturday which is possibly going to be one of the busier days for the returns queue so i got to the returns queue at five o'clock and there was one girl in front of me and she was with her mum they were like tag teaming like well they didn't eventually but the mum was like waiting somewhere warm which i 
don't blame her. Oh my God, it's so cold at the moment. Um, so definitely, if you want to do the return to queue, wear layers and wear gloves. It was so cold and there's no cover there. So you are, you are just exposed. As I mentioned earlier on in the vlog, the returns queue is going to start. So if you're facing the theater, um, you're facing the box office, look to the left. And then currently there's like an alleyway where you can go down to this, well, you can't go down to the stage door, but like the stage door is down there because of all the work going on in Victoria right now. So there's the alleyway where the stage door is. And then there's like a bit of a road where like the, the building work people can go through. And then there's like a, a faux hedge. Like it's not a hedge, but there's like greenery on it. So look for that. And like around that area is where they're going to be trying to start the returns queue. That sentence didn't make sense. That's where the returns queue is going to kind of start that general area. Initially when I got there, because obviously it was a two show day, they had like some barriers up. So they were trying to get everyone who wanted to stage door to be in that barrier, which obviously made it a bit hard because we were there and we were like, we're just waiting for returns. And then some of the cast were coming out. And I was just like, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna talk to them because I've not seen the show yet. So I'm just gonna let them go to other people. Felt a bit rude, but you know, I let them do their thing. <laughs> I can't remember what time it was at, but obviously at some point I'll try and put a timestamp on the screen. Um, a guy came out from the box office and said, I've got one ticket, it's at 79.50. I was the only one there like on my own really in the front of the queue, but the girl in front did end up taking it. That's fine, I don't blame her, she was on holiday. So I was like, I'm like, I would have taken it if she hadn't have. And obviously after that, I was a bit gutted. I was like, oh no, I've queued up for all this time and I'm not going to get something. What time was it? Just before seven o'clock, the lovely, lovely box office chap came out again and he said, I've got, four effectively and he said like who who's been first and I'm like I'm first now it's me so yeah it went to me and then there was a group behind me and three of them originally got in and then I think the other two also got in which was really nice so yeah got into the box office probably bang on seven o'clock I think and yes I had to queue up to get my ticket and here's another thing so a lot of people have been asking me this because I got a proper ticket obviously any ticket that you get when you go in is a proper ticket but I got what you'd expect a ticket to look like and a lot of other people have been getting tickets sort of ticket stubs in a way the way it works with Hamilton is obviously you get to the theatre and you pick up your tickets obviously on the day before the show it's quite similar to Harry Potter and the Cursed Child if you've seen that they have these little machines that you will insert your debit card or credit card or whatever card you paid with you'll insert your card there and then it will come up with all your ticket information on that machine and print out the ticket stub there. So because obviously I was in the returns queue and I went straight through to the box office to buy my ticket, they then printed out the larger ticket for me because it's obviously just these little machines that print out the ticket stubs. So it's only if you have an issue with your card and those little machines that you'll then be sent to the box office to get a proper ticket that's the only way that's gonna happen. Obviously don't bring the wrong card or anything to try and get a real ticket because then they probably won't give you your tickets. Don't do anything stupid like that, it's not worth it. The little ticket stubs do look quite cute anyway, but I was quite happy to have a proper ticket for my first time seeing Hamilton. I have to give a shout out to the Victoria Palace Theatre staff. Oh my goodness, everyone's so lovely and kind, like, I think it was the box office manager that came out and like sorted out our tickets. It was so nice. And then the guy who was like the box office clerk who I was talking to, also just so lovely. Just everyone that I encountered was so, so nice. And even when I was sat down in my seat and I was like taking some photos and stuff, bless one usher like stopped st like next to me so he wouldn't get in my photo. And it was so refreshing to not have an usher be like, you can't take any photos or no filming during the show and all of that because obviously I'm not going to film in the show I'm not stupid and it was just so refreshing to just like they were just so nice they were really nice and most front of house and box office and general theatre staff in London are but I feel like Hamilton have literally hired the nicest people so kudos you're all lovely thanks obviously my seat was 
amazing. I'm pretty sure these seats are meant to be £127, which is one of their top prices for previews. I think it is their top price for previews. And I believe that post previews, that price band of seats, I think it's gonna go up to 200 pounds. So the fact that I was sat in like a 200 pound seat, whew, made me feel better about spending 79 pounds and 50 pence. And I don't feel good about that. <laughs> but obviously it was insane. As I showed in clips, I was just on the center aisle. It's not really like full center though. It's kind of like just off center aisle but it was perfect and I had the walkway in front of me, which was mildly annoying during like the, the incoming where obviously people were walking by me, but then it meant I had all the leg room in the world during the show itself. The view was perfect because of the way the stalls is on like a rate. I was, it was just perfect. Like it was the best seat. I am so, in shock still. I feel so happy that I was at the first Saturday evening performance of Hamilton. It's mad. The energy from the audience was incredible. Like I know obviously first preview it would have been insane. And uh, I'm so gutted that I just didn't go along to, to try and get a ticket. Like I just had too much to do. But to go for the first Saturday evening performance, everyone was so excited. Like there was applause as the lights went down. There was applause just before it started. Everyone was just so excited. And that's always an amazing audience to be part of. This is literally my word vomit thoughts on the show. And obviously the show is still very much in previews. It's literally their fifth performance. So this isn't like, a review, like an official review, not that I ever really consider my vlogs to be official reviews because no one counts them as that, but it's fine. This is literally my, my straight off the bat thoughts. I don't even know where to start. It was just so exciting. Okay, first of all, the set. Oh my gosh, this stage looked huge. Like it was a massive stage. I've obviously seen photos of the set. That's not something like new to me, but to see it in person and to see all the details, it was exciting and as it's just massive. I couldn't I couldn't get over how big it was. And I was actually really glad to be in this prime spot in the stalls to be able to see everything at once. I do feel like if you are further forward, I don't know. Obviously, obviously it's gonna be an amazing view, but I just I loved being a bit further back just to be able to take in everything at once. Oh my gosh, this is really going to be word vomit. Okay, let's talk about the choreography. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Because obviously I've listened to this show. It's one of the few shows that I've listened to in full before seeing and like I've obsessed over because obviously two years ago, I didn't know if Hamilton was gonna come to London or when it was gonna come to London. So I listened to it all. And actually I'm gonna talk about this first. I am really glad that I have listened to it. I mean, subconsciously I've stopped listening to it recently. I'd say probably in the past two months or so, knowing that I'm gonna see it soon, I almost thought, without even thinking, I'm gonna stop listening to it. So then when I see it, it still feels a bit fresh. And I am really glad that I have done that because I could still understand everything. In fact, there were a few things that I understood better hearing them live, which kind of surprised me. There were a few lines that I guess I never really thought about in terms of not fully understanding them. But then when I heard them, I was like, oh, so that's what they're saying in that line. And there were a few extra bits in the show. I knew that there were some things that they had purposefully left off of the cast recording to obviously keep it as a nice surprise for when you see the show live. And I am so glad that they did because it was really exciting to be like, I don't know what's happening here. The cast are doing so well. It must be daunting to perform a show like this with all of the hype. And when you know people already know so much of it, that must be scary, but they're doing so well. For me right now, the absolute highlights of this show are absolutely Rachel John as Angelica, Jason Pennycook as, I've totally forgotten his act one character's name, Lafayette Jefferson, Lafayette Jefferson. Final answer, Rakaia? Yeah, Lafayette Jefferson, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, definitely Lafayette Jefferson. Oh, God, take a shot every time. Jason, oh my gosh. Those two, 
would not be shocked if they get Olivier's for their performances. Honestly, I'm calling it now. Then also Cleve September. I hope I'm saying his name right. Cleve? Cleve? Pretty sure I saw him in In the Heights. I'm fairly sure he was, was he Sunny? Sunny? Is that the character's name? Olivia's gonna watch this and she's gonna let me know. He was so good. So, so good. He played John Lawrence and Philip. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So amazing. Jamal Westman is playing Alexander Hamilton and he is like pretty much fresh out of drama school, I think, which is incredible. I remember when I saw the casting for this, I was like, what an exciting opportunity to be starting this show. <sighs> Daunting, but amazing. And he did do really well, but I feel like because I'm so used to hearing Lynn on the soundtrack, cast recording, it's just very different, but I really, I especially love like the humor that he had, but I feel like there's, I don't know, maybe it's just not what I was expecting from Hamilton, like the role, but I feel like there are some points where he potentially needs to sort of, I don't wanna say loosen up, cause that sounds bad, but you know, relax into it a bit more, but then that might just be also the Hamilton that he's playing. So I think um, when I next see the show, I'll get a better idea of how he's playing it, if you get what I mean. It's literally the fifth show, so I honestly wouldn't be shocked if it's just a case of relaxing into it a little bit more. Also, he was really tall. Wasn't expecting him to be that tall. <laughs> or maybe it was just because um, Rochelle was so small that he looked so tall. <laughs> there are just so many people to talk about. It's overwhelming. Let's talk about um, Rochelle. So I would have seen her in, um, I think as far as Fontaine in Les Mis and also obviously um, in Miss Saigon. Um, I thought she was really good, but I feel like her microphone wasn't, I don't know, she sounded just a bit quieter than everyone else, especially in like, um, the big songs like the Skylar Sisters, I was like, oh, I just want to be able to hear you a bit more. Don't know if that's a, just a little bit of a sound issue, but she, her uh, singing is obviously beautiful and the way she acts this character. I mean, I've fallen in love with like the way Philippa Sue does it on the cast recording. And I thought that that was going to sort of dampen my view on Eliza in the show, but absolutely not. No, she did a phenomenal job. God, this whole cast are just flipping fantastic. Michael Gibson as King George. So much laughter. For anyone who thought that the British audiences were gonna be like, oh no, we're portrayed badly in this show. We're just laughing along like hell. And especially in some of the lines, there was a line right at the start. I can't remember which one it was now, but everyone was laughing so much. It might have been in the Samuel Seabury bit. I think it was a line to do with tea and we were all laughing a lot. Giles Torreira is playing the role of Burr and I didn't love his Burr, I have to say. But again, I think that's because I'm so used to hearing the way that Leslie Odom Jr. does it on the cast recording. Um, so here's, this is why I normally go into shows blind because this happens. That's not to say that Giles was bad because he absolutely wasn't. It's, it's a con of listening to the cast recording too much. Okay, let's talk about the choreography for this show because oh my God, I think I'm gonna need to see this show at least 10 times to fully appreciate all of the amazing choreography in this show. Good job it's beautiful it's amazing it's so perfect for this show and i am obsessed with it i just oh i don't want to talk about it too much because i don't want to spoil it for anyone who's not yet seen the show but oh my god <sighs> it's so good i was just amazed watching it and like it was so frustrating because i'd be watching like what's Hamilton doing or what's Bird doing or what the Skylar sister's doing. And then suddenly I'm like, oh my God, there's choreography happening over there and I've not been watching it. And there are just so many intricacies to this show. I can't deal. I just can't deal. The music of this show is obviously brilliant. Like if you're a Hamilton fan, you know. Um, and it sounds amazing in this theater. The sound, apart from obviously Rochelle's levels, the sound was amazing. It sounded, so beautiful. I didn't feel like anyone was like overpowered by any of the music. It was like the perfect balance. And oh my God. And the lighting, holy crap, the lighting for this show. There's so much power in the lighting. They've got it spot on. I mean, there was one moment, I'm pretty sure it was in 
my shots. There's two really powerful lights that are like at the front of the proscenium and then they almost like power through the audience. There was so much energy in that lighting. I never thought I'd say that about lighting, but there was so, so much power in that as it came through and you were like, ooh. <laughs> it was like the show and the, like the audience became part of the show in that moment. I have so much to say on this show, but I cannot formulate my thoughts right now. So I'm gonna save it for the next time I see Hamilton and I'll do another vlog because the next time I'm seeing it, I'm in a different level of the theater. So I'll show you that view and I will properly articulate my thoughts, hopefully anyway. And I think with a second viewing with a show like this, I'll be able to form into proper sentences what I'm thinking and feeling. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you an idea of what the returns queue is like for Hamilton. Didn't mention earlier, but for the Saturday evening, I mean, there was probably about just under 15 people waiting for returns. And obviously I don't know how many people in total got in, but there was definitely five, six, seven. Seven of us definitely got in. So I think that's pretty good. And obviously it depends on the day, what's gonna be available. I'm pretty sure I saw the seat that I was in online the day before. So I don't think it was a return seat. I think it was just a seat that hadn't been sold. So it's either seats that haven't been sold or if people have given tickets back. It's gonna vary day to day, but I feel like if you are willing to risk it, you will be in luck of getting a return ticket for Hamilton, but it's probably gonna be pricey. So yeah, think about your time wisely, maybe try for a weekday, it might be a little bit cheaper, but it is worth it. It's totally worth it. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up now because I've got an early morning tomorrow and I don't know how I'm gonna sleep at this rate. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you with the whole return situation and obviously give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of me in the future. I make a lot of theatre content in general, um, but there's definitely gonna be another Hamilton vlog up soon. And oh my God, I just saw Hamilton. Oh! <sighs>